Hey guys, this is Nick. We're all waiting for the amazing Diablo 4, which may not come into our hands for another couple of years. That means a long time to wait for the next dose of ARPG looting. And while Diablo 3 is great and all, it's very old and sometimes you just need to play something new. So here we're featuring the best Diablo-like PC games. Let's start with our first one. Path of Exile this game is probably the most well-known entry and fully-fledged alternative to Diablo. It manages to take the formula laid out by games like Diablo and turn it into one of the best MMOs on PC. And it's free to play. Path of Exile piles on complexity and scope, transforming you from a shipwreck survivor into a god-killing universe-jumping crusader. You'll be pit against demons, gods, and eventually entities fighting over a multiverse of dream worlds. There are countless builds and playstyles to experiment with. It's full of all manner of surprises. You can build a monster zoo, create your own hideout, or start fresh in a temporary world with new rules and weird twists. Developers are constantly updating the game with massive expansions every few months. Next, Torchlight 2. It is a massive action RPG in a small package with the Diablo formula. It got all the same mechanics and components that has made the genre what it is. But you can do extra things, like sending your pet to the market to sell off your loot. It's full of nice little touches like that, which help to make the game feel a little bit smoother and more friendly. There are loads of weapons and playstyles to mess around with. In Torchlight 2, the action never stops and rewards are never far away. Torchlight 2 doesn't achieve much with this bare story presentation and flat characters, but monsters' behavior, interesting items, excellent skills, design, and random surprises make it one of the finest loot driven action RPGs available. Next on the list, Grim Dawn. If you want a truly in-depth and complex action RPG experience, then Grim Dawn is probably the one that fits the bill on this list of games like Diablo. It is the combination of excellent hack and slash action with a world and progression curve that makes it worth fighting through. The character classes are both very distinct from each other and impressively flexible. Like good action RPGs, it feels like a hard-fought journey across the world, not simply a series of linked corridors which change color every half hour. There are a few key factional choices to be made, which have a big effect on who or what you're You'll be fighting at certain points. With tons of new content and DLC, the game is one of the best-selling ARPGs on Steam. Moving on to Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. It looks a bit old in places, but it's a game that Diablo 2 fans in particular will appreciate. Its story will take in excess of 30 hours to complete. There is great depth to player progression with a number of different classes to choose from, and from there, a number of skills to develop and earn with complex skill trees filled with a diverse range of special attacks. The more you play it, the more you become aware that it's an old game given a new lick of paint. But if you love Diablo, you will still enjoy a humble yet captivating hack and slash RPG. This remaster has good visuals, excellent excellent sound design, enough content, and a great deal of entertainment in store for fans of loot-filled action RPGs. Next, Victor Vran. You play as a demon hunter on a quest to wipe out evil. It's got a good level of customization when it comes to abilities, weapons, and skills. There are no classes for the main character, Victor. He can equip any weapon and use its two special attacks at any time. There are no character points or skill trees associated with Victor because each weapon is a self-contained class of skills and strategies. There are a lot of weapons like rapiers, broadswords, shotguns, mortars, lightning guns, etc. This is not a game on the same scale as Diablo or Path of Exile. In terms of build diversity, game length and world. But if you're after something light and accessible with a grim aesthetic to boot, then this is definitely worth checking out. Moving on to the incredible adventures of Van Helsing. In this action RPG, there is a lot of killing, leveling up, and looting to be done. It offers a huge variety of equipment, levels, skills, and ability points. Inventory management, adventure planning, and careful spending of points serve you well. There are two types of weapons, ranged and melee. You do have the ability to switch between them on the fly, but you can't use both of them at the same time. These weapons also have their own skill trees and power-ups, subsequent selections, and additional bonuses. As a monster slayer, you tussle with some of the more wicked figures of classic fairy tales. On average, a player going through all side quests and extra content should be able to pull a good 20 hours or so from this game.
Next, Warhammer Chaos Bane. Set in the Warhammer fantasy world, Warhammer Chaos Bane is a dark hack and slash action RPG that very much feels like Diablo. You play one of the four characters and battle your way through four acts, defeating foul creatures and those who worship them with reckless abandon. Depending on the character you choose, you might have powerful magic at your disposal or skills that lacerate your enemies and make them bleed. The item drop system is pretty fair, as each and every item you get is only for the class you pick. That means no trash items, less time wasted on your builds. With a wide range of skills and abilities, available once you reach max level, how you build your character is entirely up to you. Moving on to Shadows, Awakening. You'll find plenty visual similarities between Diablo 3 and Shadows Awakening. It's a dark fantasy dungeon crawler that lets you swap between four playable characters on the fly instead of just being confined to one of them. This opens up many possibilities and variations for gameplay that doesn't necessarily require replays. Each of the characters are unique and play differently. They have separate skill trees. It has a wide array of different abilities, constant and meaningful skill progression, and awesome loot. In this game, you can switch realms by changing characters. This switching mechanic is used to solve puzzles and defeat certain enemies related to the realm. It's also more gorgeous than most action RPGs since you can save any time you like without checkpoints. Next, Last Epoch. It is an action RPG inspired by Diablo 3 and the most interesting feature in Last Epoch that makes it unique and fun is the ability to travel through time and visit each of the game's zones in four distinct areas. The Ancient, Divine, Imperial and Ruined eras. You can choose from five base classes, each with two mastery class options and can customize your characters through extensive skill trees. Every active skill has its own augment tree that can completely change how the skill functions. You can transform your skeletons into archers, your lightning blasts into chain lightning or make your serpent and strike summon snakes to fight alongside you. It includes the traditional action RPG trimming such as ladders, seasons, strong emphasis on trading, replay value, and an engrossing loot system. And last but not least, Wolson, Lords of Mayhem. Wilson showcases electrifying combat with highly detailed characters and enemies. The art style and atmosphere are notably darker than Diablo 3's. In this game, you can wield a great variety of weapons and find your own playstyle, thanks to their unique stances and combos. In Wilson, there is no class, only your weapon set the rules for your skill types. There are 21 subclass sections available to customize your passives and make them fit your playstyle. It highlights the excellent work that has been carried out on the system of skill improvements and leveling, but it's dazzled by bugs and a multiplayer section still pending some improvements on its servers. And with this, we wrap up our list for best Diablo-like PC games. Let's hope Diablo 4 comes out next year. Fingers crossed. Let us know what you thought in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. See you next time.